Let's hear it for Phyllis Diller. Now I'm lucky to follow a standing ovation. <laughs> However, I thank my dear friend Red for setting up what I was going to talk about anyway. Uh, the world's uh, thing. <laughs> He uh, probably sensed that I was terribly repressed <laughs> and uh, born in Ohio and taught nothing about sex and didn't exist in Ohio, actually. <laughs> well, my mother had a, a tweed nightgown. <laughs> a little June Allison collar. <laughs> 98 buttons. Um, and it was an itchy mess, but anyway, <laughs> sex did not exist, and I was repressed, and the nearest I ever came to premarital sex was I dated a priest. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one night, uh, he found out I was a girl and left. <laughs> I by accident got into a men's room very early in my career, and I didn't know what it was. I thought they were goat feeders. <laughs> <laughs> so I hung around waiting for the goats. <laughs> Nothing. So then I decided maybe they were religious crypts. <laughs> crypts. But I couldn't uh, decide why they were sacrificing yellow ice. <laughs> So I just read the walls and left. Anyway, but what a thrill it was to work with Milton, one of the greats of all time. I watched him as a young housewife when I was, a, well, that, that was my main um, in, uh, entertainment. Uh, those nights when Milton was on and admired him so much. I loved him as a girl. <laughs> Made me feel better. <laughs> because this is my corrected face. <laughs> but uh, what a thrill. When I think of uh, playing often with uh, Bob Hope and Burl at the same time, when I think of, you know, such uh, dynamic greatness all at once. And what, well, uh, these are the things that I'm thankful for. And uh, Milton was visiting an old folks home and um, he wasn't getting the attention he felt he should, and he went up to a little old lady, and he said, Do you know who I am? And she said, No, but the lady at the desk will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so we are all here tonight to honor Milton, and I say, Good night, sweet prince.